Good afternoon, students. Now we are on to the topic of higher purchase. Now this is higher purchase. Now what does higher purchase mean? It means I am buying something, but I do not have all the cash to pay all at once. So I am going to, in essence, rent it. But we could call this rent to own. That's my intention. So it's higher purchase. I am purchasing it, but I am going to have to pay down something, and then I'm going to pay monthly until I complete. So let's say I need a stove, and the cash price for my stove is $500. That's one option. Cash price is five hundred dollars, but with all of this COVID thing, I can't find five hundred dollars. So they say you have an option of higher purchase, and this is the option. A higher purchase, I can pay a deposit. It is five percent deposit, and then I can pay my balance off in 24 months. That's two years. I can pay this balance off in 24 months. But normally, we will have to add, normally, they have to add interest. So it's going to be my balance plus some interest. I'm going to charge an interest on the balance. And so, in this case, they're telling me that my interest is going to be 8% of my balance. Okay, so there are a few things that I have to do. I have to, first of all, find my deposit. So let's calculate the deposit here. The deposit is 5%. 5% of what? 5% of the cash price. So let's work out the deposit first of all. My deposit is 5%. Percentage is always out of 100. 5%, 5 over 100 times 500 over 1. That's the way I set up finding the percentage. The deposit is 5%. So I go 5 over 100 times the cash price is 500 over 1. Now let's do the calculation. These two zeros at the bottom here will eat up these two zeros at the top. And so I am now left with 5 over 1 times 5 over 1. I am now going to multiply. 5 times 5 is going to give me 25 over 1. 25 over 1 is the same thing as 25. So my deposit, let's work that out, my deposit is going to be equal to $25. That's 5% of that $500. I will only have to pay $25 for my deposit. So that's step one. I have to work on my deposit. What's step two? Step two, I now have to work on my balance. Now, how do I get the balance? I'm going to take the original cost, which was $500, and from that $500, I'm going to subtract the deposit, which is $25. So let's go see what happens here. This is the original price, or this is the cash price. Right here, this $500 is my cash price, and this $25 is deposit that I put in. So it's 500 minus 25 and that is going to leave me with $475. So my deposit is $475. So cash price minus deposit is going to give me my balance. Now I think I'm going to stop right there and we're going to have to 
we're gonna have to get this before I go to step two of this problem and then step three of this problem because first of all we have to learn how to find the deposit and the balance. Later in our next class we will look at how we work out the interest on the balance and how we look at how we calculate our monthly payment. So let me just go over this slowly for those of us who need me to go slowly. The cash price for the stove was five hundred dollars. I could buy it for five hundred dollars if I have cash. Or I could buy this stove when what is called higher purchase. What do I do with higher purchase? Normally I have to make a deposit of a percentage of the cost or sometimes they will give you the specific amount for the deposit. This problem asked me for 5% of the cash price. So here we go, 5%, 5 over 100 times my cash price which is 500. These two zeros cancel these two zeros. I'm left with 5 times 5 which is 25. So my deposit is $25. How do I get my balance? So number one, my deposit is $25. How do I get my balance? My balance is going to be my cash price, which in this case was $500, minus my deposit, which is $25. And if I take $500 and minus $25, $475. So my balance is $475. Now, you're going to work this problem for me. You're going to take your, take the same problem and buy a stove. It's your problem now. And the cash price for this stove, cash price is $600. My deposit going to be 10% of that and you're going to do what? You're going to calculate the deposit for me and you're going to calculate the balance. Now somebody need to shoot at the answer at me. You're going to calculate the deposit and you're going to calculate the balance and you're going to tell me exactly what the answer will be to that problem. Now let's go 